Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Rag and Bone Man number 1. There are no quest or stat requirements. Any items needed are 8 regular locks or any eggs that you can use, 8 pots, 8 GP, 8 tinderbox, a light source and a rope. For the recommended items, as always, some weight reducing armor and this time 2 stamina potions will be enough. And then also some food, armor and weapons to kill 8 different monsters up until combat 27. For the teleports, 1 teleportation method to Draenor Village or an extra 15 seconds of running around, 1 teleportation method to Camelot, 1 teleportation method to Lumbridge, 1 to Musa Point, 1 Chronicle Teleport or an extra 450 GP which I will be buying myself during this quest, and then also 1 Lumberyard Teleport Scroll or an extra 10 seconds of running during this quest. And then as always, one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is right here next to the limestone between Patrodomus and the Lumberyard. At this quest sign, talk to Odd Old Man and select option 1 twice. Alright, after the conversation is over, you will need to kill 8 different kind of monsters, but it doesn't matter which order you do them. But I would like to start with the difficult ones first, so let's teleport to Camelot and let's run south. We will now need to go to Keep Lafay, located south of the yew trees, south of the flax field. Alright, south of the use, you'll find a couple of giant bats. The most difficult one of this quest come at 27. Alright, hopefully it's the first kill. Yes, let's take the giant bat wing and let's now go to Musa Point which is the Karandra teleport on your Amulet of Glory. And let's run west. Near the entrance, or to the Musa Point Volcano entrance, there will find snakes as well as monkeys. Kill a monkey for a monkey's paw. Alright, take it, and then let's teleport to Lumbridge. Alright, let's head west or north of the Lumbridge Castle to the goblins. I will just go through the back door. I think that is the quickest way. Let's try to find a level 2 goblin and kill it for its ribs, I think. Alright, once you got the Goblin Skull, let's run or teleport to Draenor Village. First, let's head west and go to the market. I do not own a Chronicle, so I'm going to buy one right now. Let's trade Diango south of the wine stall. And I'm going to buy one Chronicle as well as one teleport. This will be helpful for in a moment. Next, I'm quickly going to drop my locks and I'm going to talk to the wine cellar Furnatio. Just skip through the dialogue and he will have vinegar in his stock. Let's buy eight of them and put these eight in our pots.
Once we've done that, let's drop our jugs and pick up our drop locks. Next, let's run southeast to the entrance of the Lumbridge Swamp Caves. Be sure to have a light source with you, else you will die in that cave. If it is also your first time going to that cave, you will need to have a rope. Next, on our way to the entrance, let's put our three bones that we have gotten into the pots of vinegar. Alright, here at the entrance, uh, let's climb down the dark hole, but if it is your first time, you'll first need to use a rope on it, and then climb down. Next, let's run west. And then go south. Do not run north, else your candle will get extinguished and you will die. Alright, in this southern room you will find a couple of monsters. Kill a Comet 24 Big Frog. The big frogs on the surface do not drop the big frog's leg, so that's a problem. Once you have it, take it, and let's now use our Chronicle to teleport to the Champions Guild and run east. Keep running east until you see the pen. Follow the path south first until you see the entrance to the sheep pen. On our way there we might as well just put the leg in the pot of vinegar. Let's open the gate and let's try to find some rams. Kill one for the ram skull or ram ribs. Alright. Alright, put the ram skull in the pot of vinegar in the pot of vinegar and let's run east. Keep running east until you see a unicorn or a bear. Doesn't matter which one you see first, kill both of them. Once you've killed the black bear, let's pick up the bear ribs and let's run north. Just north of the mine you will find one giant rat. Kill it and that will be our final bone that we will need to get for this quest. Pick up the giant rat's bone and let's now teleport or run back to the Odd Old Man, located between the Lumberyard and Temple of Patrodomus. Be sure to put all the bones in the pots of vinegar. Also bring along your axe or the eight regular locks, as well as your tinderbox, and that is all you will need to complete this quest. Once we have returned, let's zoom in a bit and first we'll need to use our regular locks on the pot boiler. I suggest clicking on the edges, then use any of the bones on the pot boiler, the edge, and then use your tinderbox on it. And now we just need to wait until the bone appears inside of the pot and then you will need to rinse and repeat seven more times. After you've repeated this process seven times, talk to the odd old man to give the eight bones and complete your quest.
Alright, cool, that was the final one. Let's grab the pot, talk to the old, old man to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed Rack and Bone Man. You are awarded with one quest point, 500 cooking and prayer experience. And you've now also unlocked the second quest in the quest series, Rack and Bone Man number two. To see which kind of monsters you need to kill for part two, you will either need to check your quest log or check the wish list on his building. Currently, I do not have the quest or the set requirements to be able to gather all these bones. But this was my quick guide of Rack and Bone Man quest number one. Hopefully, it has helped. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.